Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So I uploaded a video on this game last night of us just really messing around with the game. It was uploaded pretty late so you guys may have missed it but I'll stick the link to the entire Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator playlist in the description so if you guys are looking for more of this game you can go, go down there and everything I've uploaded on the game will be there. As well as that, I feel like I'll be uploading this game every single day for like the next week maybe. Just leaving like, you know, one or two videos a day on this game along with my other Total War content because I'm really enjoying it and I love just kind of creating these huge scenarios where we have you know thousands of soldiers just coming together and fighting it's pretty awesome so if you guys want to if you guys want to see more of this then do let me know by commenting and dropping a like and obviously subscribe if you do enjoy this game because I'll be doing plenty more of it so if you didn't see my video yesterday and you don't know what Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator is, basically it is a sandbox game like Tabs, which allows you to have humongous battles, you know, ranging in the tens of hundreds of thousands. You know, hundreds of thousands may be pushing it a little bit, but when I did an interview with the developer, which again you'll be able to find in the playlist, he said that he stress tested up to a million individual units on screen at one time, which is just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. That You know, he did have like two F FPS, but you know the fact that he didn't crash his game didn't explode and he had a million people fighting is is insane so I think this game has a lot of potential and he's obviously this is an alpha build as well this is as you can see in the bottom left hand side v1 of alpha so you know obviously plenty more units are going to be added into the game itself and I'm sure you know as we go forward loads and loads of more units will be in the game so I'm thinking of setting up you know a little bit of a larger battle today so let's go ahead and I've already kind of set up 10,000 zombies I think that's going to be a pretty awesome number um, then I was thinking some like a decent amount of cavalry I always want to put like 10,000 cavalry up against you, know, like uh, up against 10,000 zombies, but I feel like that'll just be slaughtered. Like they'll just get killed. So let's do 5,000. Oh my god, look how awesome that looks! 5,000 cavalrymen up against 10,000 zombies. Is that too crazy? Let's go. Let's go two and a half thousand. So at the moment, that's 25,000. Not quite. Not quite that much. I don't think my computer could handle that. 250,000 is insane. You can literally just put in the numbers you want, and hopefully your computer can handle it. So let's have 2,500 cavalrymen up against 10,000 zombies and the Chuck Norris in the battlefield. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. So let's just see these, these cavalrymen just collide in and fight. Anything else I think we should add? Um, I think we've got a good, good army roster up here. Yeah, let's see if 2,500 horsemen can take on 10,000 zombies. And we can even adjust it. So what I think I'm going to be doing from, like, in these videos is set it up so that we have, like... We have like a few kind of smaller battles and then we kind of get to the main event, the main thing in the video. So let me know if you guys want to see stuff like that or if you just want to kind of see these smaller, you know, 10 minute battles. Okay guys, we've loaded in. You can see my FPS in the top left hand corner isn't the best in the world, but we can also slow-mo it, which is something I didn't do in the last video, which really helps out the FPS a bit. And it does look awesome slow-moing it as well. But I mean, we do have, you know, 12 and a half thousand people on the screen. We have Chuck Norris right here being the super battle of bastard's badass right now he's there whilst the rest of the cavalry is, is soon to go in and then obviously we have our two and a half a thousand knights ready to support support him so this is a chuck norris battle of the bastards right here so let's go ahead i want to kind of play as chuck norris and charge him in because he's a beast so let's go ahead and click play let's select chuck norris oh my god look how much hp he has he has a hundred thousand hp and something if you guys don't know you can actually do in this game is you can like you can really really make any unit you want so you can select any unit so i could select the zombie if i wanted to and i could i could completely change the stats of that zombie oh battle of the bastards here we go here we go boys the cavalry's gonna come flying in let's slow mo this bad boy oh as all the cavalry come flying in this is battle of the bastards right here and we can also slow mo it as well i believe by pressing p I think it takes a little while. You have to wait for all the units to kind of get stuck in. Come on, Chuck Norris wants to get to the front of the battlefield. Come on. Rally on me, boys. So this, this will get them out of my way, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm struggling to get out of the way. Chuck Norris is, is just causing me a nuisance. I don't think you can actually slow-mo whilst you have the unit selected. But there we go. You can slow-mo. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So obviously, I'm still learning a lot of the controls. But I mean, my God. Look at that. We just zoom out quickly. It's just the sheer scale as we have 10,000 zombies charging in against the knights. And the knights are pouring in as well. I wouldn't actually mind making the knight formation a bit wider. So they actually get more of an envelopment. Because at the moment, they're kind of just charging in. And if we just jump in, play as one of the knights quickly. 
we can slice them down. So I like that. I like how you can zoom in and play as one of the knights, uh, but you can't go in slow-mo. So has Chuck Norris made his way to the front? Because it's going to be hard to kind of find him. He was towards the front, right? I guess we'll see who... Oh, there he is. Look at him go. Holy shit, Chuck Norris is going in. He is just killing everyone. Let's go. I'm playing as Chuck Norris. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Who wants to mess with me? Is there no one else? I am literally wrecking people. Chuck Norris is OP as hell. Oh my god. And I mean the the kind of lag hasn't really been too much like too bad at all considering obviously I'm not getting great FPS but the actual lag overall isn't that bad. Oh my god, Chuck Norris is literally oh, I say that and then we get kind of like a couple frames dropping there. Oh my god, look at him go. He just he's just wrecking everyone. I think he I think he works better when I let the AI control it because the camera moves a lot better. And a nice thing about this game as well is the bodies pile up like the Battle of the Bastards as well, which is really cool. So you can probably have huge mounds of bodies. Like, I am sure that Chuck Norris, after he's dealt with all of these guys, there's going to be huge amounts of soldiers going forward. And let's just go cinematic mode quickly. I'm not sure if there's a proper key for that. But I mean, holy, oh, holy mother of God. Look at that right now. That is just pure, pure insanity right now. And he's just going so deep into enemy lines right now. <laughs> he is literally slaughtering, slaughtering these zombies. They do not stand a chance. So yeah, as I was saying, like I feel like what we'll do with these, these videos is kind of do like two to three scenarios every single battle. So do make sure to let me know in the comments down below what battles you want to see going forward. Oh my god, look at the wake of death Chuck Norris has left in, in, his, in his pathing. And they kind of half the zombies are surrounding him, and the rest of the zombies are going after the cavalry, which again are just destroying these guys. So let's play with some cavalrymen. Let's go ahead and like get a unit of cavalry. Chuck Norris needs our help, boys. So let's go ahead and, and rally these soldiers and make our way over. Out the way. Make way, boys. Make way. Okay, let's go. These horsemen should be following me. Yeah, I've got, I got a good detachment of horses coming in. We need to help Chuck out. He, he's in desperate need, so let's take the cavalry round here. And make our way around the flank. We are coming, Chuck. You can also almost see as well. Oh no, the cavalry are getting stuck a little bit. Uh, you can already see as well how Chuck Norris. You can see that like pile of dead bodies going up. How it's more elevated than the rest. Okay, boys. Let's get ready. How do we tell them to charge? Is it attack? Yeah, attack target. Can we select them? They should just be attacking. Oh well, can I just tell them just to attack? I think it's just five. Yeah, I think it's just five. Okay, on me. Oh, the zombies, some zombies are coming as well. Make way, boys, and attack. Okay, I definitely fucked that up pretty badly. As I mentioned, I'm still getting used to the controls. But the cavalry is going to go ahead and descend upon them now. I mean, we can always select more cavalry players, these guys, and just charge into them. I don't think you can... I think you have to be stationary to swing. I think it's a bit hard, like, because obviously the controls are still getting very worked out. But, oh, yeah, actually hitting into them knocks them down. That's awesome. Okay, cool. We have to do this properly then, because I messed that up pretty badly. So select some more soldiers. Let's go ahead and select these guys. Rally on me, boys. I rallied a few of them on. Cool. So we're actually just going to go charging into the enemy and just kind of making an indent in them. Because when your cavalry hits them, they get destroyed. You can see there's only actually 800 of us left, but there's only like 400 of the enemy men left as well. So come on, guys. All the cavalry's over here. Now let's go. We have to beeline into Chuck. We have to save him. Let's go, boys. For wrath, for ruin, and the world's end. Riders of Rohan, oaths you have taken. Now fulfill them. For the Lord! Chuck Norris, not Feodin. We are coming for Feodin. And the rest of the boys are here as well. Beautiful. The rest of the cavalry comes flying in there. Let's get some more slow-mo on the go. Completely slow it down right now. Where is Chuck again? I always end up losing him. Even though I don't know how you can lose him. He's just where all the death is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he has just piled so many dead. So imagine if you're fighting in a huge choke point area, the amount of bodies piling up, because the reason this doesn't look too bad is because a lot of these soldiers have, uh, have like, moved around in the battlefield. You can see the zombies really pushing back for knights as well. But I feel like Chuck Norris is just unkillable. How much HP is he on right now? Yeah, he, he's lost, like, no HP. Look at this. Oh, my God, Chuck Norris. You are amazing, good sir. But the fun thing is, as well, you can make any unit like this. I could make a penguin like this. I could make a zombie like this. A Roman centurion. Like, I can create any unit like I want Chuck Norris to be. They can be imbued with Chuck Norris's spirit. It's amazing. Look at him go. 
That is just brutal. That really is. So yeah, I definitely think the Knights have won with the help of Chuck Norris, because Chuck Norris is unkillable. Uh, but definitely the, the Knights have struggled, though. These footmen aren't as good as I thought they'd be. So let's rally some more of them and bring off, bring around some around the flank. We have some more coming, which is good. We need to go ahead and smash down this flank. Or we could do some amazing cavalry charges down the hill into like a huge amount of zombies. Let's form up here, boys. Some zombies are coming in. Let's go. Down the hill. Let's go. We're like helms deep in this bitch. We can also jump, I believe, as well. How deep are we going to get in the enemy ranks? Oh, we got pretty far before we died. We got pretty far. It would be cool if you could swing and hit the enemy as well. That would be pretty cool. How are we doing, Chuck? Yeah, look at the body. Look at the mound Chuck Norris has created. That is that's pretty disgusting. And he's going to soon finish up these guys. And then he's going to be able to push on the rest of the flanks. Chuck Norris has literally just murdered everyone. Look at that pile of dead bodies he's just left in his wake. And now he's moving over here. That's pretty OP. <laughs> I love this game. It's so awesome. The knights are pretty much dead, though. Holy crap. Yeah, the knights are dead. It's just going to be Chuck Norris killing everything. I mean, obviously, he is going to kill everything. But still, like... Yeah, the last footman has been killed now. Wow. So yeah, if it, if it wasn't for Chuck Norris, these knights would not be able to have, have won that battle. They, I, I wonder how many kills even the knights got. We should also make a battle where it's like, like 10,000 zombies versus 10,000 Romans versus like 10,000 Spartans and just see who comes out on top. That would be really fun to do in a video. So as I mentioned earlier, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see going forward. Let's play as a zombie now. It's me eat brain. And let's just move forward and, and just try and try. Maybe we can be the one to kill Chuck Norris. Oh, no, I deselected him. Let's go, let's go. Let's try and be the one to kill Chuck Norris. Oh, no. We died instantly. We didn't get close to him and his fists just destroyed us. Oh, what are these guys? Are oh, these guys were like just like eating on some horse up here? They were just devouring this horse, getting strength with this one guy. Like, he's, like, he's like, what's up, dude? Hey, I'm walking over here. The rest of the zombies are just pushing on to Chuck Norris. Look at the dead, the piles of glorious dead. Chuck is just like, fuck these guys. Yeah, you can live. Oh, no, no, he's... Oh, he went back for more. Slaughtered. Okay, cool. So let's move over and just get the last couple kills. I want to get these last couple kills. Let's go, boys. Oh, my God. He literally just punches through everyone. I don't stand a chance. Oh my god, it's literal slaughter. I'm just gonna walk. Yeah, where they hit me, boys. Yeah, you're all dead. That's what I thought. Oh, you can literally just hold it down and it just kills everything that walks into my path. They literally don't stand a chance. And he like rotates for you. That's awesome. You can literally just sit back there, hold down your left click, and everything dies. There we go. Team Shock Norris. GG, easy boys. Chuck Norris is victorious. <laughs> Team 1, Chuck Norris, victory. Cool, so let's jump out and we'll go ahead and set up another scenario. Okay, guys, so we've wrapped up our next scenario. What we do is we have 3,000 medieval knights and 1,500 horses, which are going to be off in the wind. So these guys are only going to come in a little bit after the battlefield. So the Romans really have the opportunity to overwhelm the medieval knights' position and kill them. However, they have to be very careful because as soon as these cavalrymen turn up, they're going to be able to just obviously just smash in the side of the actual knights themselves. So I'm going to tell the, the heavy knights to hold position. I'm going to let the Romans attack and I'm going to let the cavalry attack. So the Romans should charge in. And then this huge cavalry force should then come in the side. And that should look really cool. Like Helm's Deep type style reinforcements. So the Romans definitely have a good opportunity to overwhelm the defenders. Until the cavalry turn up. Because there are 5,000 Roman centurions. So there's a lot of you know Romans coming forward. At least I think it was 5,000. Give me like 4,000. Uh, but there's still a lot more Roman centurions than there are say uh, the medieval units. So it's up to the medieval units to hold out. And it's up to the Roman units to overwhelm the attack of the defenders. Okay, guys, we are on the battlefield. We can see the 5,000 Roman centurions ready to push on and attack the enemy. The knights are holding firm, ready to receive them in their shield wall. And then, obviously, we have our cavalry. Oh, God, the cavalry is pretty far away. 
Where even is it? Is it still even further away? Oh my god, yeah, it's still all the way over here. So the cavalry has a decent distance to actually travel to come help out. So these knights are going to have to hold firm. I mean, look at that. That looks so awesome. We have almost 10,000 soldiers fighting. And this is literally just the tip of the iceberg. My performance isn't that bad with this many soldiers. So I could probably push this pretty far, you know. I've seen Alex Rambler do 40,000 soldiers so far. And I, you know, all it takes is someone with a beast computer to just hit 100,000 or something. Oh my god, yeah, the knights are holding firm, the cavalry are moving forward. And again, as I mentioned, we can go like super slow-mo as well like, by adjusting this with the timer, which is pretty cool. You know, we'll just you know stick it on somewhat slow-mo. Could we getting a bit of an FPS drop here, you know? Around about 20 FPS, you can see in the top left-hand side, so not super bad. And we can also just go super slow-mo and watch this charge unfold. We're definitely going to have to slow-mo it for when the cavalry turns up. Hopefully that'll be soon. The Romans are advancing. Hold firm, boys. Let's go ahead and play as one of these Romans to begin with. We will lead the front line. Romans forward. Oh, we're going to be struggling, I think. You know, these knights are getting good hits. Make way. Make way for the centurion. Let me forward. We're trying to make our way forward to the front lines to actually attack. There we go. We're getting some hits off now. Oh, we are stabbing. We, we have a huge attack speed right now. But these knights have a huge armor buff. Oh, we got slaughtered there. How's the cavalry doing? The cavalry turning up yet? Oh, the cavalry's turned up. Beautiful. The cavalry is just smashed in the side. I completely didn't even see that. Let's go super slow-mo and watch that as my FPS tanks as the cavalry comes flying in there. Holy crap. We'll get a nice little zoom out shot. Hopefully that will help it out a little bit. Holy crap. That was pretty brutal FPS. But it's starting to clean up now a little bit. I guess it's just because the cavalry's all hitting the enemy line right now. And we can really just see them, you know, enveloping. The Romans are enveloping on that left flank, but the cavalry coming in is going to be absolutely huge. They're actually also coming through quite a lot of the own, own uh, medieval lines as well, which is pretty funny. Yeah, a lot of the horses are coming around. Cool, let's go ahead and again, let's select some horses. Oh, look how cool that looks. Forward, boys. Let's go ahead and select some, some horses. On me, boys. We're going to go right around the flank and we're going to let you guys attack right around the back. Just go ahead and put, put the foot to the metal there. We'll hold down shift. We actually don't have our foots in the stirrups either. Who needs stirrups, hey? So I've taken some horses. They should be with me now. Yeah, just... Oh, there's not really a lot of them. I guess we're a small detachment of cavalrymen. Let's form up here. Let's wait till everyone gets here and then we'll turn around and charge. Yeah, everyone's pretty much here. Okay, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try and break them here. There's a big gap. If we can break them here, then maybe, maybe we can just tear through them and, and get to the rest of the soldiers. Just break into the Roman formation here. Knocking them down. Let's go, boys. And we got killed, but hopefully the rest of the cavalry is going to help out now. You can see the rest of the cavalry is pouring in, helping out. They're actually getting cut down, but hopefully that will draw a few soldiers. How's the front line looking? Front line's looking pretty good. The bodies are starting to pile up, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, the front line's fine. You can see my FPS is completely smoothed out now. I think it was just that initial charge from the cavalry hitting into the Romans. And then the, then the AI had to quickly think, oh yeah, shit, we need to kind of reform and, and reassociate our targets. So the Romans, yeah, the Romans are thinking I'm going to lose. The Romans have only racked up 400 kills, so I guess these knights are really good. Let's go cinematic mode for a little bit as well. Just watch the knights on the front lines. Get, again, get a nice little zoom out shot there. Oh, that looks pretty, pretty naughty, if you ask me. The cavalry, yeah, the cavalry has completely enveloped them on this far right flank. It's completely surrounding the Roman centurions. They are fighting back to back. Or we could do some, like, Teutoburg forest stuff. That would be amazing as well. Because we can go in, like, a foresty area, have, like, a bunch of Romans. Because, wait, it was two Roman legions, so that's, like, 9,000 Romans. We could literally do it, you know? I think, I'm sure your numbers were obviously a little bit different because they probably have auxiliary cohorts there as well. You know, in addition to the rest of it and the scout, the scout cavalry and stuff like that. But we could definitely do like a proper, you know, number-wise battle of Teutoburg for us. That seems amazing. I, I love this game. I'm having so much fun playing it. I will obviously as well make sure to let you guys know when the when it becomes available into alpha. I'll be sure to make a video. So if you guys are looking forward to, to when that does occur, then obviously make sure to subscribe to the channel. So I'll let you guys know as soon as the 
as soon as the game does go into alpha and you guys can pick it up. Oh, the cavalry. You can just see the cavalry slowly making their way in. They really are breaking through the Roman line. So another really cool thing as well, as I mentioned, if I'm like, oh crap, this is taking a bit long, you know. I'd much rather it just speed up. I can do that. And all of a sudden, everything just goes at two times speed. The screaming is pretty horrific as well. That sounds like someone's screeching. But that's really cool. The fact that, you know, if I'm feeling like, oh, this, you know, this battle's cool. But, you know, I kind of feel like I should just speed it up. So, again, when, when you guys get the game, you can do exactly the same thing. Which is pretty, pretty awesome in my books. So let's go ahead and select some cavalry. Oh, the cavalry has just ruined the enemy forces. Let's go back off cinematic mode. I really need to see if there's a hotkey for that. I kind of want to select, I want to kind of select these guys. I want to kind of get a bunch of soldiers. I want to get like more. Do I have, to, if I go further, I mean, this is a decent contingent right here. Yeah, we've got a nice amount. So make way for your general. Yeah, this is a nice little force right here. And I think I'm pretty sure we can just... Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful amount. This is perfect. I wish I would have looked down from the point of view of the cavalry coming in from there. That would have been sick. But we have so many opportunities, you know. I can make as many videos on this uh, on this game as possible as I, as I want. So, you know, obviously expect plenty more videos on this. So do let me know, you know, what units you want to see fighting. Uh, so cool. Let's go ahead and just tell these guys to charge, right? If I just press V, I should just be able to tell them to, to attack, right? If I select like an enemy, are they going to go charge? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Boys are going in. So as you can tell, I'm still getting very used to the controls. Let's go, boys. Into the Roman line. They're surrounded. They're completely surrounded. Let's start swiping at the Romans now. Yes, we just took one down. Beautiful. Now, obviously, like this, uh, this initial like uh, fighting system is pretty basic. But again, you know, it, it kind of you have to trade off something. You know, you can't have them. You can't have like a for honor battle system. You know, with this many soldiers, that'd be insane. But you know, that's just not the not the way. Oh, I love the sparkle on the medieval knights as well. You know, like mountain blade can't have this many units fighting, and have all the other stuff they have w working. So you kind of have to give up, you know, the, the battle system being pretty basic. But, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of, this is a sandbox game primarily, you know. Yeah, the, the night line has just completely destroyed the Romans. The Romans have done nothing. They've killed 1,100. And the, the, the knights, the armored knights and the, the foot knights as well have just killed so many Romans. They don't stand a chance. So let's speed this up a little bit. I want to see these Romans die a little bit quicker. I wonder actually if I tell these, uh, we slow it down again. I wonder if we tell these guys just to, you know, like rally on me and just to, to, to attack target. Just push forward, boys. Are they going to go a bit more aggressive now and start pushing forward? I think we can because we definitely have the, we definitely have the advantage. So I'm hoping these guys are going to start pushing forward. The piles of bodies are definitely starting to rack up now as well. You can, you can really see the elevation starting to occur. The cavalry is just running amok right now. These Romans, these brave, brave Romans don't know where to go. I think this left flank has been the most successful for the Romans. But unfortunately, not successful enough. Yeah, the right flank's been pretty decent, but the rest of the cavalry is just cleaning up them. Yeah, there's nothing left for these knights. Cool, let's speed this up then, and we'll watch the rest of the last of the slaughter. That sound is really annoying, actually. Maybe we don't want to speed it up that much. <laughs> I apologize if I hurt your ears. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. The rest of the knights are moving in. Let's play as one of these brave Romans. We need to get a little bit closer to these knights. There we go. Come on, take him down. Oh, we got killed. Let's go ahead and play as another one. It'd be cool if there was a mechanic which just switched you immediately. If you were selected on a unit, as soon as you die... There was just a way for you just to immediately join, like, the next guy along. Should we make a run for it? Should we actually make a run for it? We're, like, the last Roman surviving. We're going back to tell Rome that, that our forces have died. No, the cavalry's coming! Run! Flee for your lives! No, I died. I got run down. Shit, and there we go. The knights are victorious. If we get a nice little zoom out shot there. Yeah, the, cap the knights lost literally no men whatsoever. That was insane. So that was really, really fun. Really fun.
Okay, guys, this is going to be the last battle that we do. If you did enjoy this episode so far, make sure to hit that like button as it really does help out the channel and I appreciate it so goddamn much. So thank you guys in advance to those people who do do that. But our last battle, I thought we'd do something a little bit goofy because, you know, you know, Chuck Norris wasn't goofy enough. Today, <laughs> we're going to be fighting with 400 World War II soldiers because obviously we have to have, uh, you know, some freedom in this game. And they're going to be up against, you know, what, what, Spartans? Romans? No, don't be silly. Penguins. 4,000 to be exact. So we have 4,000 penguins chasing down 400 World War II soldiers. It's going to be hilarious. I can't wait to see how this battle turns out. I'm pretty excited if, if you ask me, uh, if I'm honest, you know. I'm excited to see if these guys can hold back the penguin horde. I was actually thinking of doing a, a a certain thing for a battle where we just make a super penguin and it's kind of like a hero unit and it leads like an army of other penguins against, I don't know, some like a load of Romans and a penguin army just descends upon the enemy. I think that'd be really, really fun to do. So let me know if you guys want to see that. So the game's obviously just going to be rendering all the units. We've got our World War II soldiers up here and then the, the army of penguins. Look at them. There's so goddamn many of them. Oh, these fucking, these bastards coming to take our freedom. The communists sent them. We will hold firm on top of our hill. So let's go ahead and get a nice little view from the World War II soldiers. They're in decent ranks right now. Fire at will, boys. You're holding firm. I don't think they're in range yet. Oh, the freedom. The freedom is beautiful. The penguins are advancing, though. Hopefully, these little bastards will be shot upon very soon as they come into range. Oh, my lord. Let's go cinematic mode for now. Oh, here we go. The, the freedom is coming in. Nice. Oh, these penguins are getting annihilated. I wonder if even any of these guys are going to make it. There's 4,000 of them. That fire is beautiful right now. Look at that just coming in against the huge amount of penguins. I mean, there's so many of them still left remaining, though. I expect plenty more of them to drop before they even get anywhere close. But I don't know. I feel like they could definitely make it. I feel like the World War II soldiers maybe aren't, you know, that, that well off. You know, once I get into combat, maybe the World War II soldiers will be annihilated. Come on, boys. Let's take, let's take a company of you guys around the left flank a little bit. Yeah, you can see, look how many kills we are racking. These World War II soldiers are insane. Come on, boys. With me, with me, with me. Let's go. We're going to go around the flank. Okay, boys. Now we can open up. These, guys are, these guns are semi-automatic, apparently. We've got burst fire on them. Yeah, we're picking these guys down. We're advancing. We've got one company holding the enemy in place. Exactly. As that guy said, there's us and then there's the terrorists. The terrorist penguins. Yeah, we're pushing these guys down pretty nicely. How are the penguins doing? Oh, obviously some of these penguins are going to make it. Let's go, boys. For glory. For the penguin empire. Oh, we are pecking. We are pecking these World War II soldiers. We've got them. They don't stand a chance. Peck them to death, boys. We got this. Beckham. Beckham to death. Oh, my. Oh, God. I don't know if I can show that on YouTube. Jesus. Do you guys see that? I, oh, God. Stop it. Penguins. No wonder the Americans want to kill them. The penguins want to do fellatio on them. Hold firm, boys. They're looking over to the left-hand side, and they're just seeing their brothers being, <laughs> being, being slaughtered by the penguins in a way they don't want to see. I think it's obvious that the World War II soldiers have got this, but this little company over here, I led my men to the death. As the penguins just charge in. Oh my god, that's brutal. Some of these penguins are trying to hold firm. But they're just getting... Yeah, these guys are just not enough numbers now. Maybe we can try 10,000 penguins next time and see if they can get close. Maybe, maybe this is what we can do. At the end of every video, we play as we do this battle. And we just keep giving the penguins more and more men. And to see how... Or I guess animals. To see how many uh, it takes for these penguins to die. And fight of these penguins to win. And finally overwhelm the American line. Yeah, it looks like the lions. Come on. I'll breathe one brave penguin. Forward, boys. Oh, we've only got 10 health. So we're dead in a hit. But we'll try our best to get as close as possible. Oh, some shots are coming for me. No, dodge, dodge, duck, dive, dodge, and duck. Oh, we tried to duck and weave. Come on, boys, weave. Z, Z, Z runs, boys. We have to dodge the ammunition. 
Oh no, we died. So yeah, well, next event, the World War II soldiers are going to be victorious. And pretty convincingly, well, we only really lost the soldiers I took away from the battle and pushed to that left-hand flank. That was awesome. This game is so much fun. And I know I keep saying that, but it really is just seeing all of these combinations come together and fight. So if you guys want to see more of this, do let me know in the comments down below and drop a like. Hopefully you did enjoy this video because I'm having so much fun fighting it. If you are, obviously are here for Total War, then don't worry, more Total War videos will be up later today. I'll see you guys next time and long live America, I guess. Zombies, I think that's going to be a pretty awesome number. Um, then I was thinking some, like, a decent amount of cavalry. I always want to put, like, 10,000 cavalry up against, you know, like, uh, up against 10,000 zombies, but I feel like that would just be slaughtered. Like, they'll just get killed. So let's do 5,000. Oh my god, look how awesome that looks. 5,000 cavalrymen up against 10,000 zombies. Is that too crazy? Let's go, let's go 2,500. So at the moment, that's 25,000. Not quite, not quite that much. I don't think my computer could handle that. 250,000 is insane. You can literally just put in the numbers you want and hopefully your computer can handle it. So let's have 2,500 cavalrymen up against 10,000 zombies and the Chuck Norris in the battlefield. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. So let's just see these, these cavalrymen just collide in and fight. Anything else I think we should add? I think we've got a good good army roster up here. Yeah, let's see if 2,500 horsemen can take on 10,000 zombies. And we can even adjust it. So what I think I'm going to be doing from, like, in these videos is set it up so that we have, like, we have, like, a few kind of smaller battles and then we kind of get to the main event, the main thing in the video. So let me know if you guys want to see stuff like that or if you just want to kind of see these smaller, you know, 10-minute Okay, guys, we've loaded in. You can see my FPS in the top left-hand corner isn't the best in the world but we can also slow-mo it which is something i didn't do in the last video which really helps out the fps a bit and it does look awesome slow-moing it as well but i mean we do have you know twelve and a half thousand people on the screen we have chock norris right here being the super battle of the bastards badass right now he's there whilst the rest of the cavalry is, is soon to go in and then obviously we have our two and a half a thousand knights ready to support support him so this is a chock norris battle of the bastards right here so let's go ahead i want to kind of play is Chuck no oh my god and I mean the the kind of lag hasn't really been too much like too bad at all considering obviously I'm not getting great FPS but the actual lag overall isn't that bad oh my god Chuck Norris is literally uh, I say that and then we get kind of like a couple frames dropping there oh my god look at him go he just he's just wrecking everyone I think he I think he works better when I let the AI control it because the camera moves a lot better and a nice thing about this game as well is the bodies pile up like the Battle of the Bastards as well, which is really cool. So you can properly have huge mounds of bodies. Like, I am sure that Chuck Norris, after he's dealt with all of these guys, there's going to be huge amounts of soldiers going forward. And let's just go cinematic mode quickly. I'm not sure if there's a proper key for that. But I mean, holy, oh, holy mother of God. Look at that right now. That is just pure, pure insanity right now. And he's just going so deep into enemy lines right now. <laughs> he is literally slaughtering, slaughtering these zombies. They do not stand a chance. So yeah, as I was saying, like I feel like what we'll do with these, these videos is kind of do like two to three scenarios every single battle. So do make sure to let me know in the comments down below what battles you want to see going forward. Oh my god, look at the wake of death Chuck Norris has left in, in, his, in his pathing. And they're kind of half the zombies are surrounding him, and the rest of the zombies are going after the cavalry, which again are just destroying these guys. So let's play with some cavalrymen. Let's go ahead and like get a unit of cavalry. Chuck Norris needs our help, boys. So let's go ahead and, and rally these soldiers and make our way over. Out the way. Make way, boys. Make way. Okay, let's go. These horsemen should be following me. Yeah, I've got, I got a good detachment of horses coming in. We need to help Chuck out. He, he's in desperate need, so let's take the cavalry round here. And make our way around the flank. We are coming, Chuck. You can also almost see as well. Oh, no, the cavalry are getting stuck a little bit. Uh, you can already see as well how Chuck Norris... You can see that, like, pile of dead bodies going up. How it's more elevated than the rest. Okay, boys. Let's get ready. How do we tell them to charge? Is it attack? Yeah, attack target. Can we select them? They should just be attacking. Oh, well, can I just tell them just to attack? I think it's just five. Yeah, I think it's just five. Okay, on me. Oh, the zombies, some zombies are coming as well. Make way, boys, and attack. Okay, I definitely fucked that up. 
pretty badly. As I've mentioned, I'm still getting used to the controls. But the cavalry is going to go ahead and descend upon them now. I mean, we can always select more cavalry players, these guys, and just charge into them. I don't think you can I think you have to be stationary to swing. I think it's a bit hard, like, because obviously the controls are still getting very worked out. But, oh, yeah, actually hitting into them knocks them down. That's awesome. Okay, cool. We have to do this properly then because I messed that up pretty badly. So select some more soldiers. Let's go ahead and select these guys. Rally on me, boys. I rallied a few of them on. Cool. So we're actually just going to go charging into the enemy and just kind of making an indent in them because when your cavalry hits them, they get destroyed. You can see there's only actually 800 of us left, but there's only like 400 of the enemy men left as well. So come on, guys. All the cavalry's over here. Now let's go. We have to beeline into Chuck. We have to save him. Let's go, boys. For wrath, for ruin, and the world's end. Riders of Rohan, oaths you have taken. Now fulfill them. For the Lord! Chuck Norris, not Feodin. We are coming for Feodin. And the rest of the boys are here as well. For Chuck Norris and charge him in, because he's a beast. So let's go ahead and click play. Let's select Chuck Norris. Oh my god, look how much HP he has. He has 100,000 HP. And something if you guys don't know you can actually do in this game is you can like you can really really make any unit you want. So you can select any unit. So I could select the zombie if I wanted to, and I could I could completely change the stats of that zombie. Oh battle the bastards, here we go. Here we go, boys. The cavalry's gonna come flying in. Let's slow-mo this bad boy. Oh, as all the cavalry come flying in. This is battle the bastards right here. And we can also slow-mo it as well, I believe, by pressing P. I think it takes a little while. You have to wait for all the units to kind of get stuck in. Come on, Chuck Norris wants to get to the front of the battlefield. Come on. Rally on me, boys. So this, this will get them out of my way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm struggling to get out of the way. Chuck Norris is, is just causing me a nuisance. I don't think you can actually slow-mo whilst you have the unit selected. But there we go. You can slow-mo. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So obviously, I'm still learning a lot of the controls. But I mean, my God. Look at that. If we just zoom out quickly. It's just the sheer scale as we have 10,000 zombies charging in against the knights. And the knights are pouring in as well. I wouldn't actually mind making the knight formation a bit wider. So they actually get more of an envelopment. Because at the moment, they're kind of just charging in. And if we just jump in, play as one of the knights quickly, we can slice them down. So I like that. I like how you can zoom in and play as one of the knights, uh, but you can't go in slow-mo. So has Chuck Norris made his way to the front? Because it's going to be hard to kind of find him. He was towards the front, right? I guess we'll see who... Oh, there he is. Look at him go. Holy shit, Chuck Norris is going in. He is just killing everyone. Let's go. I'm playing as Chuck Norris. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Who wants to mess with me? Is there no one else? I am literally wrecking people. Chuck Norris is OP as hell. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fisher, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So I uploaded a video on this game last night of us just really messing around with the game. It was uploaded pretty late, so you guys may have missed it, but I'll stick the link to the entire Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator playlist in the description. So if you guys are looking for more of this game, you can go, go down there, and everything I've uploaded on the game will be there. As well as that, I feel like I'll be uploading this game every single day for, like, the next week, maybe. Just leaving like, you know, one or two videos day on this game along with my other total war content because i'm really enjoying it and i love just kind of creating these huge scenarios where we have you know thousands of soldiers just coming together and fighting it's pretty awesome so if you guys want to if you guys want to see more of this then do let me know by commenting and dropping a like and obviously subscribe if you do enjoy this game because i'll be doing plenty more of it so if you didn't see my video yesterday and you don't know what Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator is, basically it is a sandbox game like Tabs, which allows you to have humongous battles, you know, ranging in the tens of hundreds of thousands. You know, hundreds of thousands may be pushing it a little bit, but when I did an interview with the developer, which again you'll be able to find in the playlist, he said that he stress tested up to a million individual units on screen at one time, which is just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. That You know, he did have like two FPS. Yes, but you know the fact that he didn't crash his game didn't explode and he had a million people fighting is is insane so I think this game has a lot of potential and he's obviously this is an alpha build as well this is as you can see the bottom left hand side v1 of alpha so you know obviously plenty more units are going to be added into the game itself and I'm sure you know as we go forward loads and loads of more units will be in the game so I'm thinking of setting up you know a little bit of a larger battle today so let's go ahead and I've already kind of set up 10,000